Hey guys, welcome to Mojo Group Mike here. So I don't know if you can tell behind me, I'm in a different setting. Uh, we moved to a new spot, so the light is a little bit different here, but I hope you can see me clearly. But today I want to talk to you about density altitude and how it affects your airplane performance. Now as a pilot or pilot in training, this is something that's very important uh, and something that you cover during your training for the most part. But a lot of times you really don't get to practice how you fly in density altitude except you are actually in a real life scenario where it's happening and then you can learn how to fly around it or based on what the weather is doing. But today we're going to get a better understanding of what it is and how to prepare for it. Now first I'm going to read to you what the dictionary or Google defines density altitude as. I have my phone here with me. Okay, the density altitude is the altitude relative to standard atmospheric conditions at which the air density would be equal to the indicated air density at the place of observation. Okay, that sounds so technical, even I can barely understand it. So one thing you should understand first about aerodynamics before you get a better understanding of density altitude is uh, that air, the molecules of air in the skies or in the atmosphere, it's part of what gives you lift. It's part of what uh, allows your airplane to fly. So generally speaking, the closer you are to sea level, right? So the closer you are to the ground, basically, uh, the more dense the air is. So you have a lot more air molecules in the atmosphere when you're closer to the ground or when you're closer to sea level. Now, the higher you go, the higher you go in the atmosphere, the less dense that the air molecules are. And what that means is you have less air flowing over your wings, you have less air that your propeller is able to grab. Now, in understanding that one factor, let's define what density altitude is. Density altitude in relation to flying is simply the altitude that your airplane thinks or feels that it's flying in. All right, and I'll give you an example. Say for example, you're at an airport and say you're 300 feet from sea level, meaning the airport elevation is 300 feet. So you're pretty much closer to sea level, you're on the ground, and you're about to take off or you're about to go on your flight, and then you get a weather briefing and they tell you the density altitude just changed and your current density altitude at that airport is 8,000 feet. Okay, now, if you're not an experienced pilot or you're not paying attention, what they're really telling you is that the elevation of that airport technically just became 8,000 feet high. So you're not at 300 feet anymore, although physically you are, but your airplane, you know that you're at 300 feet, but your airplane is going to think that you are at 8,000 feet. Again, we've already established that the higher you are, the less dense the air is and the less performance you're going to get from the airplane. So think about this. If your airplane thinks that it's taken off at 8,000 feet, chances are it's going to perform much slower, okay, because the air is less dense at 8,000 feet. Now, the reason why it's important to understand this is because we've had quite a few accidents that were caused by density altitude and part of it is because either the pilot uh, wasn't paying attention to the weather briefing or they got a weather briefing and they didn't take action in anticipation of how the airplane is going to fly all right that's why it's very important to understand this so going back to that same example assuming you heard on the radio and you got a weather briefing and they tell you that the density altitude at your current airport is 8,000 feet. Now, knowing that, if you decide to load up your airplane, you and your crew, however many people you put in the airplane, and you load your airplane to the max, and you decide to just take off, uh, thinking everything is okay, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be rolling much longer on the ground, and if you, by any chance, are able to take off, you see that your climb rate is gonna be peanuts compared to what your normal climb rate would be. All right, so that's what you need to understand about density altitude. And again, sadly, you've had situations where pilots would get a weather briefing or they were not aware of the density altitude where they are and they just take off and they realize, oh crap, my airplane is not climbing as it should or 
they run out of runway or god forbid they were able to climb but they had obstacle in the way and they were not able to climb over that obstacle and they crashed the airplane so that's why you need to understand this and be better prepared for it now if you do the opposite where same scenario you get a weather briefing okay and it tells you the density altitude is this high what you could do is do your performance calculation and really that's the main point that I'm bringing out of this entire video is that it's important to do your weight and balance and your performance data calculation before you go on any flight alright so again going back to that example you get a weather briefing of the density altitude the best thing you can do is do your calculations and see you know looking at the weather looking at the size of the runway and looking at whatever you have surrounding that airport in terms of obstacles are you able to safely take off and be able to get out on your way if you're not based on your calculation then it's best to just stay put wait for the weather to change wait for conditions to change or, or find something else to do just don't go flying okay that's my two cents for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you learned something if you did be sure to give a thumbs up and if you're a pilot I'm curious what your understanding of this subject matter is and if you have had any experience uh, finding high density areas share with us so we know what it's like okay again my name is Mike thank you guys so much for spending time with me if this is your first time make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys on the next video peace